So if you're excited about the new expansion, you've come to the right place. I'm going to be posting like three videos a day, if not more, with all of the decks you could possibly want. And the first one is going to be Blood Rune Death Knight. This deck is probably my favorite that I've tried so far because it really brings back the control style that I've liked for a long time. And it also feels really synergistic. Everything just feels like it fits together really well. The idea of the deck is pretty simple. You want to play Vampiric Blood to gain as much max HP as you can. And then also just gain as much health as you can through lifesteal cards like Blood Boil as well as Death Strike. You can discover more copies of these cards with Nerubian Visor, Venomous Scorpion, Volpero Scoundrel, and School Teacher. And if you get lucky with Brandon School Teacher, you can gain a lot of HP with Vampiric Blood, literally getting over 100 HP, which I actually did in this video. The main win condition, though, that isn't just controlling the board, is basically winning the game through Attrition or just bursting your opponent with Denathrius. The Attrition is completely wiping their board with Soul Stealer. It's potentially getting rid of their win condition with Patchwork and Theotar, and then Alexandros, which is literally just the master of attrition, which just slowly does three damage a turn, which will eventually destroy your opponent. It will just take a long time. The mulligans for the deck are pretty simple. Just anything three mana and below are viable. And then if you're playing into more aggressive stuff, maybe don't keep your discover cards, but if you're playing on something that is going to be slow, you have the time to play your discover cards and you don't need to prioritize your early removal and minions. Don't forget to like, comment, and most of all, enjoy the gameplay. The explosion, because I think this is going to be an aggro shaman of some sort. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like Sour Fang in this deck. I mean, obviously you can run if you want, and you could possibly just take out a Volpera Scoundrel to, to slot him in. I don't think that he's bad, bad. I just don't think that it's... I just don't think that it's really that good either. And the reason I say that is... Let's gain a cor corpse. This is fine. The reason I say that is just because, like... If you play him on turn five, excuse me, it's a really, really, really weak play. And a lot of the time, like if you fall behind on one turn, like because of power creep, decks accelerate so fast, giving up your turn five, like you have to play him if you're ahead, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And if you play him while you're behind, you just fall further behind. And I guess, yes, you're a control deck, so arguably it, it'll, it'll be okay. But I just feel like a 3-5 taunt for 5 mana is just a lot of setup. Because then you have to play him again for HP, so if you are playing against an aggro deck, you're still taking constant damage. Also, oh no, this is going to be devastating. They also got, like, some really good concoctions there. Two more concoctions? Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, what? You drew both potion belts in the first two, three turns of the game? Kind of goaded. Kind of insane. That has lifesteal. I don't think I really care about the lifesteal, to be honest with you. I think it's just gonna be, um, hero power, this hits here, this hits here, and then we'll do two damage. I don't really care if he heals up, we'll attack after. I don't know, maybe I'm misjudging Sour Fang, maybe he's stronger than I thought. In my experience so far, he's been very good. I mean, from what I've seen, he seemed very weak. Obviously, I have not played him myself yet, because I don't run him in this deck, but from what I've seen on, like, theory crafting and... Like, I played out some games in my head, just seeing what other people probably do based on new cards. Whenever I look at cards, I'm like, I would rather probably play uh, a school teacher and a Noggling to try to put myself into the game. Like, it's just a hard card to play if behind. Um, we can do this to draw a card. I feel like this right now is probably pretty good. It draws me a card. We don't really need to do too much else. We can coin this out turn six if necessary and push face a little bit. I want to save this to do two damage to something important. I don't know. That's my own personal preference on it. I think he'd be better in the uh, more board-based blood death knight. The one that like pumps up minions in your hand with the... Uh, the There are several cards that like pump up plus one plus one. And then you can spend curses to have it pump up even more. There's a lot of things. Um, but you, you, get, you get... I hope you get my point. I just think that it's a card you have to play when ahead. And when you're control, you're not ahead until like late game. And I guess that's fine. Like it could be a late game win condition, kind of. We'll destroy that. We'll play this and then we'll hero power again. Just want to stack up some corpses early and then we'll coin this out next turn. 
You need more draw in this deck, it seems. I disagree pretty strongly. I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discover cards. This draws me cards and discover cards can get me more. Also, so, sorry, six, like eight to 10 discover cards. Which I think is fine. Um, I'll leave this up. We can kill it next turn. I still think coining this out sooner rather than later is correct. We can play this next turn, which is nice. But yeah, I don't know. Obviously, it's the very beginning of the expansion, and I could be completely misjudging the strength of a lot of these cards. That's just my initial interpretation of Sour Fang, and we'll see what happens later on. How is Enraged Fire Warrior? I think it looks so bad. I think it looks awful. I think it looks horrendous, even. I would take him over Astellar. I disagree. Astellar combos really, really well with Bran. Like, in theory, what you could do is on turn 10, if you have the two cost Astellar, you can go Bran, Astellar into another one, and you get three of them that do 16 damage each, which is pretty good. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal, but. So the question is, do I want to play Patrick or do I want to kill this? I would rather play this with like Bran or something. But it does destroy the 5-5. Five five. I would have liked to have played this with Bran. But I think it's still pretty worth it right now. We destroy that. A swift scale trickster. What else did we destroy? And Prince Renathal? Okay, that was a useless. So we got rid of one okay card. That was unfortunate. Those are some pretty big misses from Patchwork. But I'll, I'll accept it. It's fine. That's understandable. Maybe a little bit more card draw on the deck wouldn't be terrible, though. Because, like, if I don't get my Discover card... cards... then I guess it does kind of fall flat a little bit. We'll Discover a card here. Another Patchwork seems pretty good, honestly. We can't play it now. But we can go, like, boom, Hero Power, double hit into this, and then we can play Patchwork next turn with another Hero Power. Seems decent. I'd rather run Bran, a Patchwork, or a Mutanus. Wait, I run Bran and I run Patchwork. Whoa! Wait, what? How did that happen? Oh, those are just cards that they randomly generated. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, what? We detonate a bunch of curses? I guess we can Hero Power hit here first, actually, and that'll detonate one less curse because it'll become immune a little bit after. Right? Then it becomes not immune, and then it'll detonate all those, and then we can play this. Which is still not bad. Um, dealing a ton of damage puts him on a clock. But I might actually want board wipe more than anything else. I mean, if I play this again, how realistic is it that I that I kill them? Right? I'd rather have I'd rather have removal, I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah, they take 3 damage at the end of every turn, but they still have 10 turns, assuming they get no more armor or healing. So it's just not really worth it. I think removal will buy me more time. And Mutanus? I mean, Mutanus would be a decent option in this deck as well, I will I will admit. I can admit that. It would be solid. Patchwork will destroy a minion. I do want to play Patchwork this turn. We could play Asphyxiate and Patchwork, actually. And then Patchwork to kill off this, something else, and then something else in their deck. What do we get? We got rid of a new... Okay. And we got rid of my Esther. Dude, what? Actually, are you serious? I mean, they run such... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many other minions they actually have in their deck, to be fair. Interesting. Command of Neftalon's fine. This is why we ran the Soul Stealer. That happened. Oh my gosh, it kills off their own minions. Oh, never mind. We didn't even need this. The last minion I played was Patchwork, so that's not good. I should have played Patchwork into Fixie. I did not expect them to run Vanessa. This is really, really bad. This is really, really bad. Because they're guaranteed to hit something insane off of me. Meanwhile, my I play two Patchworks, and both of them hit pretty garbage options. Like, why didn't you hit Vanessa, right? It'll kill him over the course of two turns. I'm fine with that. I don't even care if it eats Astellar. I actually think I like Soul Stealers more for board wipe. 
There goes Patchwork. I don't even know what I'm gonna lose. I mean, it destroys my Patchwork, and it destroys the Soul Stealer. And okay, well, at least Full Para isn't that important. And we can play the Soul Stealer next turn. Actually, no, we definitely don't need to. They're all gonna die, and we just go Death Strike here. Like, it's fine. We get the Baron, which actually is really, really good for me. We go eat this. I guess draw a card. And then we'll we'll hit here. And then we'll try to kill it off in a turn or two. It's fine. These things die. We heal up a little bit more. I don't know. Now that Patchwork's gone, and we're going to draw an extra card off of that 2-2, I feel pretty confident, I guess. And we got the save Soul Stealer. And actually, one of the Soul Stealers was uh, randomly generated, so we still have one left in the deck. Deal three damage. Crazy. And a sprint. Okay, maybe that's a little bit less crazy. Oh, man. Best adult dating site. How about muted? How about hidden from the channel? Thank you very much. I think next turn it's going to have to be Astellar, though. Unless we draw something really good or in, with three mana, they massively flood the board and I have to go Soul Stealer. Hello, Icar. Love your videos. Help me a lot. You analyze or help me a lot to analyze and get better. I got the Platinum 4 with your tips on Mech Mage. No expensive cards. Mech Mage. That's an interesting one. That is a very interesting deck. Oh, you're helping me draw a card. Thank you. Much appreciated. We get two Venomous Scorpids. I'm down to play one and then play Astellar and then Hero Power Rush in. Let's discover a card first, though. See what we get. Honestly, not bad. Honestly, pretty good. Um, especially if we can get Denathrius. We can actually make use of these corpses. This Neither of the other ones are actually any good at all. But we didn't get anything that we necessarily want to play, so we'll do that and then we'll go Astellar. I could have waited to play Bran with that, but at this point, I feel like I should just play it so I have something to play next turn. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could play Venomous Scorpid, but at this point, I think generating more resources with Brand Venomous Scorpid will be better long term. OTK Druid. I do plan on playing OTK Druid at some point today. Dude, these control games last so long, though. Like, this video <laughs> is going to be like two games long. Okay. I feel like that's a bit of a misplay, to be quite honest with you. I get to get another one of these, and I get to play Astellar, which is gonna kill at least these things. I mean, most likely the three five will stay alive. Well, that's not even true. Okay, well now, now stuff is gonna live, but still weird. Like, sure, I'll kill off most likely both of these stealth minions. Like, that's all I really needed to do. And then we'll play this at face. Like, that was just really, really good. And you bounce this back to my hand so I get to do it again. Now, if I draw a brand, I still get to do it, which is awesome. Let's see here. How do I win this game? I win this game through just attrition. I don't think they can kill me. I mean, if this card right here is Denathrius, and I play two patchworks and I miss... Okay. Well. GG, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I was I was kidding. That that was Denathrius. I mean, Vampiric Blood to keep me alive is not bad. Bone Guard Commander. I mean, that keeps me alive. We can also play the, the Muncher to hit here. And heal up a little bit so we don't die. As opposed to doing this, because I want to play this with Denathrius. But I feel like playing this is just my best option. I really played two Patchworks, and I hit the worst possible options. Meanwhile, he had Denathrius still in his hand. I'm losing my mind, honestly. Into Mass Polymorph? Do I die to Denathrius? I'm still alive by like one or two, right? Sprint, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. They get to heal up a bunch. I'll send that there. I guess I kind of want to play Venomous Scorpid. I mean, we can send two of these in. And then Patchwork will go here. But we can also still just play Venomous Scorpid. Let's see if we can get anything really good off of that. I don't know. Sunwell's fine. If we don't end up dying this turn, it could save me, I guess. Them healing up a bunch doesn't really matter to me, actually. We'll get a corpse. And then we'll play this and heal five, and then hit him in the face and soak up more damage, I guess. 
I'm pretty bummed actually though. Like I'm trying to stay cool about it, but I'm legitimately so pissed off that I played two patchworks and neither of them hit Denathrius, which he had in his hand since the beginning of the game. I mean, we could still draw Theotar, right? Or we could still randomly generate... No, he can't randomly generate another patchwork. They still have a Shadow Step as well. Oh, I'm dead, GG. They're going to be able to kill this off. And Denathrius is not going to be enough to win it for me, I don't think. Tass? I mean, we have to play Soul Stealer. Please hit your own minions, not mine. I mean, we can see if this draws me something good. The Citadel stands strong. We got Theotar, holy shit. For the love of God, please get me Denathrius. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God, dude. Yeah, I'll give him, I'll give him this. I don't care. Thank God, dude. What an absolute disaster this game has been. We played Denathrius as soon as possible. Oh. Oh, ooh, no, that, that's actually kind of bad for me, low key. But Denathria should still do enough to win, right? Oh, what a disaster. What an absolute disaster. I mean, he can't play Theotar, I don't think, so that's nice. How are you? I'm doing fine. Trying to cheer in and three cards my ninja, fair enough. Whoa, what is this? After another friendly mini night, had a copy of it. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what this is gonna be. Two. Fair enough. But yeah, I'm doing pretty well. What an absolute roller coaster of a game this was. I'm not even kidding. I mean, we played Denathrius. Okay. We do end up still having to play Denathrius. We hero power hit here, play Denathrius. It's not gonna kill him. Interesting play. We get Bran. We can't go Bran Denathrius, unfortunately. We're off by one, but it was close. But yeah, we'll heal up a bunch. Bone Commander, I mean, low key, we could play that, but I would rather just do this, it's fine. Get rid of the Divine Shield, play Denathrius. Should wipe the board and heal me up to basically full. Which is nice. I'm down. They take three damage. They get another Mita. Rest Holy rest moly. Rest okay. I had some misplays. I admit. But in the end. I think we did pretty well. Oh. Destroy a minion. Oh that's not good. There goes my Demathrius. Ugh. Yeah. This is what Soul Stealer's for though. Flooding the board. Actually, that doesn't even matter because they're going to play the uh, the card that does damage, right? Oh, no? Interesting. Okay, fine. We'll go Soul Stealer first. We'll go Soul Stealer first. Wait, this is broken. I had a card from another class. It costs three less. That's actually so good. Two Mitas? Oh, this could actually be a problem, low-key. This could end up being a bit of a problem. Unless they... Okay, I just need them to not draw both Mitas immediately. Give me some time to go, like, Bran into Astellar and just try to finish them off with that over the next couple of turns. Okay, they didn't draw Mita that turn. It should be game. Why do I have 60 HP? Because I played this card right here, Vampiric Blood. Give your hero plus 5 health. Uh, spend 3... Oh... I mean, they take Astellar. I don't think I really care too much. Wait, what did they take? They took the Sunwell? Oh, I guess that makes sense. The Sunwell makes sense. Draw two minions. For each that costs five or more, summon a two, three. There's a world where I play school teacher and I can find direct damage to win the game. There's a world where that is a win condition. Or alternatively, we just go Astellar and we like guaranteed win the game in two turns. But this might actually end up being better. Because it goes up twice. I think we can find lethal because they take three damage to a minion. Kills it, discover frost card, sure. 
to a minion. I mean, okay, fine. That's not particularly great. We didn't actually end up killing him, but this goes here. This goes here. It hits him twice. We'll discover a frost spell, and then we will play probably pre uh, pre science. Yeah, and then we, and then yeah, yeah, we win, we win, we win. I don't know how good it would be to keep Alexandros. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I want to play him. But the signature, first of all, is just so ugly, I don't want to look at it anymore, like, cover my eyes. But also, I think for 7 mana, it's a bit slow. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm exaggerating, I don't know. Maybe it's not going to be that bad. Maybe trying to play as soon as possible is better? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I don't think we should delete Theotar. First of all, at 6 mana, like I said, he's fairly balanced at this point, in my opinion. And second of all... Um, I believe the bigger problem is Denathrius by far. Like, several of the decks I theory crafted still use Sire Denathrius as a win condition because he's that broken. And several of the decks that I've seen played also run Sire Denathrius as a win condition because you don't have to build around him. He just, you throw him in there, he'll do like 15 to 20 damage at the end of a game. And he's a 10 mana 10 10, so he's still decent stats. There's really nothing you can do wrong with it. <laughs> Like, there's no reason to not run it. We want to play Brand plus Patchwork, maybe. We might also go for something else. Have a good evening. Hey, how's it going? Have a good evening. Uh, replacement for Invincible. I don't run Invincible in this deck anymore. I did not end up liking it very much at all. I'll play this rather than Hero Powering. I'm going to run Soul Stealer. Here's the thing. This Paladin deck is probably going to run... Or the Paladin deck is probably going to um, maybe run Jailer or... Wait. No, this is clearly a more aggressive deck because it only has 30 HP. Oh, no. Okay, maybe I should have taken something different than like Obliterate to do, remove stuff early. But running Soul Stealer to kill off a board could be really, really good. Pumping up a card, fair enough. We can Hero Power and kill that off. It's fine. We're not drawing super well. That wasn't an undead card, so this doesn't actually do anything. I mean, yes, we can still discover a card, but I want it to cost two less. Because I'm greedy. But yeah, we can destroy this, no problem. I don't find that to be too problematic. Commander, fair enough. Not really much to do, to be honest. I mean, we have sick removal in my hand. Don't you think Blood Death Knight misses some draw? I mean, yeah, it's kind of missing some draw, but one, that helps into other control matchups. It helps into fatigue. And two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten cards that discover us more resources, not including Bran, as well as Astellar, which also gives us more cards. Not to mention the fact that we also have uh, Theotar to potentially steal a useful card from there. Oh, that's potentially a problem. Maybe we play Asphyxiate and get rid of the, the, the thing here. We're going to do this and then we'll play this and get a card. I don't really care about this too much. It's not too much damage. Keep detonating corpses feels good. Discover a Frost card, though, to deal three damage seems better than Corpse Explode. No, this is better. That's just better. I mean, we need ways of using um, Explosions, and they're clearly going a more tempo slash aggressive deck. I only run one Corpse Explosion and two Blood Boils because I like the healing. But honestly, you could replace a Blood Boil with a Corpse Explosion. It really comes down to, like, which one you think's better. I think Blood Boil's a little bit better because I've seen more board-based aggressive decks and um death knight likes to summon a lot of two two like zombie minions which this is very very good at dealing with but if you want to run corpse explosion that's also very very good as well the ttp decks thing works in my discord if you want to click the link it takes you to my discord channel and then you can type ttp decks in there um and you can get some cool deck codes of the decks I've most recently played. But since my Hearthstone deck tracker is not up to date, it only has one deck in it so far, I will say that it might not work the way it's supposed to for the first couple of days of the expansion. You think Warlock will be a good deck in the current meta? Absolutely not. Not a chance. Zero chance, actually. I would say. 
in the nicest way possible. No shot. They're slowly starting to run out of cards, which I'm happy about. Hero power hit here. The detonate will do five damage, which will kill off everything. And now has four left and it's going to destroy that. And I want to save the, uh, the this card. We still got good mass board wipe with this, some good lifesteal board wipe with these things. If you place one decent minion that doesn't have um, Divine Shield. Patchwork is also nice, which I probably want to play real soon. Ooh, maybe we wait a turn and let them draw a couple more good cards. Okay, yeah, we'll kill the 5-5. Five five. We'll destroy that with this. Yeah, that makes sense to me. We can play Patrick in like a turn or two right now and just doing some damage control. I want to take less damage. He can't even play his big minion until next turn, right? If, and, I mean, probably they run Karyl, but they can't play um, Jailer or Denathrius. And I want him to play some of these Silverhand recruits before I play Patchwork so I can potentially hit something big. Can you guys open packs and I try to open them? It just won't let me click the cards. I have to restart. I was able to open packs at the beginning, um, but there have also been some bugs since the new expansion dropped. I had to restart the game once during the prologue. Um, I almost had to restart the, the client when I was looking at my collection. So it might just it might just be a bug thing that's going around. I'm not 100 percent sure. But I can I, I was able to open them. But yeah, we want to wait to make sure these two things are out of their hand before we play Patchwork, because if we let this stick in their hand, if this ends up being a Light Ray, then never mind. Everything that I just said, throw it out the window. I guess this could be Denathrius, and we still need to play Patchwork by turn 10, or by turn 9. It's the Leviathan. Okay. Which means this is a Light Ray, no? Oh, they drew that Light Ray. So they drew it in a slightly weird order. They drew Leviathan before this, which doesn't make that much sense, but okay. I want to go Soul Stealer. We have two more in the deck. This was a randomly discovered one, which I like a lot. Eat everything, get a ton of corpses, not bad. I need to play Patchwork this turn, though, to try to snipe the card. I mean, if it's Jailer, that sucks. If it's Jailer, that's really bad. I guess destroy the highest attack, to attack enemy, though. It doesn't technically, like, target anything. Also, does that mean they're not running Karyl? Oh. I'm assuming it's not the Jailer, then. Well, I guess it could still be, like, Jailer. Play the other Silver... Coin out Silverhand Recruit. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. Sadly, I think we still have to play Patrick, even though it has a chance of hitting this. I think it's still the best play because it destroys the 7-7 seven, seven as well. And maybe... Ah, uh, it hits it, darn. It, it hit the uh, Silverhand crew, didn't it? Yeah. Unfortunate. Knowing my luck, this card right here is the Jailer. And we missed it. We missed like the 33% chance. It's... Okay, fair enough. I don't really mind. We can play this to draw some cards next turn. Now that they've played Karyl, Bone Guard Commander is significantly better now. I changed the resolution and it works now. That's a weird bug. They have to change the resolution for it to work. That's kind of weird. Oh, I'm a little bit lower than I thought I was. That's kind of crazy. I'm running out of HP now. We might have to discover a card to see if we can get more life steal or just use this actually. We have six extra HP sitting right here. Do you know when the new mini kit will be in the shop? Mini kit? You mean the mini set? Because that's going to be a, a, a while from now, to be honest with you. Let's do this and draw a card first. We gain some HP. Brand's not bad. We can go... I mean, we can go brand into this, this, and this next turn, to be quite honest with you. No, we're going to draw a card. We're going to go brand into this, I think. School teacher. Brand, School Teacher, and Venomous Scorpion are all decent. Or we can just go Brand, School Teacher, which I think is even better. Yeah, I think that will end up being better. I love Brand, School Teacher. It's so broken. Draw a card, Corpse, draw two more. Yeah, sure. I do like drawing cards. We'll do that. Hit face. 
We can relax for now. This will give me two corpses, which is nice. What legendary did they get that they didn't immediately play? You know, maybe they should have taken the freeze one and just frozen their face. Here comes another one. Okay, fair enough. Roughly 30 HP, though. I feel fairly safe. I'm assuming they're going to wait and play it with the Jailer next turn, which actually sucks for me so bad. Yeah, I'm like almost 100% sure this is the Jailer. Well, I mean, we get to play the Bone Commander to get some Taunt Minions. We gain some decent HP. Like, it's not bad. We can definitely still survive and win this game for sure. I wonder what they do. Do they kill a minion? If you mean the mini set for Arthas, it's already in the shop. What are you talking about? We're gonna trade this in. Yeah, that's the Jailer 100%. That is the Jailer 1 million percent. Which kind of makes me want to play Theatar now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Do I do it? How confident am I? I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna concede because we get to steal our best cards. Against a hunter, I believe this card is a bit too slow. I do think that draw is very important. And I think three mana asphyxiate, although is good, I think there are better cards. I think I want to fight for a little bit of board presence and maybe discover new cards. Bone Guard Commander could also be pretty good. But yeah, uh, this deck definitely is good. I mean, again, it's not refined. We end up drawing this card anyway, which is fine. But overall, I don't really have any complaints about it other than the fact that like combo decks beat you. But that's what control is meant to do. Like control is meant to lose to combo unless you can draw Patrick or Theotar. So I don't really mind it too much. I want to play this to draw cards over the Scoundrel. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? But yeah, that guy's deck was pretty cool, though, I will admit. When I talk for a long time, this is my big problem with streaming, my nose gets clogged up. I don't know why. It just gets, like, dry. I, I don't know why. If anybody knows the science behind it, let me know. But uh, we'll play this to draw a card. We'll probably play Volpera Scoundrel next turn. I do like seeing Bran. Bran plus Theotar turn 9, if it gets to that point, is pretty solid. I don't know exactly what deck they're going. I think they're going an arcane deck, but like, why would they run candle shot? We can go hero power hit here, or we can go Volpera Scoundrel. We'll see what we draw first. We drew Prince Renathal. Yeah, we'll discover a card. I don't really mind it too much, I guess. Uh, Vampiric Blood. Honestly, we play like two of those and this hunter probably can't even kill us. Although, then again, maybe I shouldn't say that. There's probably a world where they can still beat us, but that's a lot of extra HP that we'll be having. I love that warrior deck. It was insane. No, yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, again, we draw Theotar, we draw Patchwork, we draw Mutanus. I guess we don't have Mutanus, but if a deck does run Mutanus, the deck literally loses. Whoa! That's why you run it. Oh! Oh, that card's sick! Oh, I understand. Oh. Oh, this makes a lot of sense all of a sudden. Oh, this makes a lot of sense all of a sudden. This is just discovering a ton of these and getting more copies of them and attacking as many times as possible so they keep getting more and more powerful. That's a sick deck. I'm gonna mark this down. And they also have, obviously, Arcane. Wow. My build is just so much worse than that. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. Wait, what? You played the coin after the Arcanist? Oh no. I honestly feel bad. Oh, I genuinely feel bad that happened. That's so funny and yet so sad at the same time. Oh no. Oh God. I can't believe it. No. I feel so bad. But also, this person's deck is sick. I'm literally like this close to adding them and asking them for that deck because it is better than I thought it was going to be. And they draw three cards. Holy crappy Oli. 
Yeah, I'm taking out several of these cards. I'm taking out several of the cards that I put in that I thought were good. And I'm putting in this. This combo. Because that... This is so sick. I mean, maybe I try my version first. I don't know. Vicious Syndicate has a list for it. Awesome. I mean, we're going to heal some off of that, which is nice. Do I want to play this? Or do I want to play this? I'm going to just do you, I guess. I mean, I don't want to take too much damage is the problem. And I feel like this is not a useful card in this particular matchup. So I feel like playing this and hero powering might just be better than playing you. Because, like, you're just not useful in this matchup. And there's no shame in that. It's just not great for this matchup. We'll only go to 50 here. We'll save the Blood Boil. We'll Hero Power hit the 2-3 uh, the so it dies to that. We'll heal up a little bit. After we take more damage, we can play Blood Boil later. I don't mind that. But Vicious Syndicate has a list. I will look that up right now. Because it looks... That is actually so much cooler. Mine is... Uh, you guys, if you guys looked at the video, mine runs Twin Bow Terror Coil to double activate some of the spells. Oh my word. Okay, this is what Soul Stealer is for, ladies and gentlemen. My god. I get another Vampiric Blood, which is not bad, but we are going to go with Soul Stealer. Pretty insane play. Honestly, dude, this card is so broken. It is Twisting Nether on a stick. And a pretty decent stick that also gives me corpses and is undead for undead synergy in the niche situations where that happens. My god, dude, this should not be balanced. Or this can't be balanced. Collateral Arcane Hunter. Oh, yes, this is the one I want. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited to try this out. Oh, oh my gosh. I think ultimately that's best. If we can get Vampiric Bloods, oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. They have to concede. They have to concede. We get that off twice. We actually don't want to play the other one. Actually, maybe we do want to play the other one so we don't overdraw here. We don't double activate it, sadly. Oh, shoot, we do double activate it. We're only going to gain 15 more HP, though, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. We're going to overdraw a card, but I don't think it really matters at this point, because we're winning in Fatigue, and we have, like, almost 100 HP. <laughs> I mean, we gained 15 more. How much damage did I I was at 43, so add, like, 7. I actually don't know what my max HP is. So we added 20, 30, 40, 45. So we should be able to get to 85 HP minimum, right? That's so- No! Don't kill Bran! No! Draw five cards? Wait. Dude, their deck is also so sick though. I'm having a blast playing against it. Holy cow, that card's gonna get nerfed? True. Oh man, we lost that. That's kind of bad. Would be a shame if I were to gain more HP, though. I wasn't even paying attention. Honestly, I should probably play Patchwork here. Maybe I can destroy one of their, um, shock things. With one mana left, we also just play this. We get rid of a spotter. Doesn't really matter. What else do we destroy? What did we get in their hand? We got a shock spitter. Pretty decent. Does five damage right now. Oh my gosh, there's so many decks I'm so excited to try out. I literally can't make enough thumbnails to keep up with it. But yeah, we have, I think, 95 HP now. Which is pretty good, I would say. Borderline broken. Is Freeze Death Knight a good build right now? Honestly, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know how much damage that's going to deal, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh yeah, it's 12. That's not bad. Oh, and then they're gonna go um, Devouring Storm or Swarm to kill my 4-6, which is interesting. And then they're going to get all their cards back. They might play another one, to be honest with you. I thought of an OTK Mage deck, but I don't know if it's any good. There's the Devouring Swarm, like I said. 
Well, if you want to drop me a code, I'd be down. Hit 100 HP or you're a noob. I mean, I don't know if I'm able to heal all the way up to that point, but I'll try my best. But you should send me a deck code on, um, what's it called? On my Discord or Twitter or something. I'm trying to think if it really matters what I play here. Death and I would, I would, calls. I would say that it really doesn't. I'm going to play this to see if I can take something good. I'll yoink that and I'll give them this. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm losing some decent stuff for it, but it doesn't really matter. I've only attacked once this game. Or I haven't attacked at all this game, actually. Arcane, Deal two. Hero power, these go face. I mean, I'm thinking about it, and like them getting an 8 8 doesn't really affect me. I can kill it. I took away 12 of their damage with Bran, maybe even 14 after this attacks. So, not really much else for them to do. I mean, the maximum damage they can do at this point is 14, 14, 14, which is 42 damage, and I'm at 61 HP. No, I guess they could add a little bit more if they attack one or two more times with Harpoon Gun. But luckily we have a ton of healing with the Death Strike. So, I mean, like, it's not even that big of a deal. I don't think. Yeah, like I said, I don't really care about that. We said them getting that was fine. Because now we just go boom. Into boom. Get a corpse. And then we can also gain fight. Wait, can I kill him somehow? Hold up. Did I miss lethal? I guess I could have played this and maybe found something. Because we have 11 damage, but that's nah, fine. We will uh, gain some more armor and keep going face. We are at 69 HP. Okay, technically, if you include armor, I have a potential total of 100 max HP now, which is pretty good. Okay, can they kill me though? They do 16, 16, 16 damage, but they don't have enough mana to play another one. Dude, the amount of damage that they just did is unreal. And I still survived. I did have lethal, my bad. 